Hello, it's me, and welcome back to the T. Oh, oh, wait a minute, that's not my intro. One time, but that is the intro of my boy, simply but I am also known as Aaron, my good brother, the Doc to my Carl. No, well, Luke to my Carl, however you want to refer to Gallows nowadays. Nonetheless, he's doing a Here Comes the Pain. You remember that game back in 2003, I want to say? Here Comes the Pain came out. He's doing a little series on it. Chris Jericho on SmackDown. You go check it out. It's a really good series. I think you all would enjoy it. But nonetheless, damn me, YouTube. Back at it again with another TW video. TNA. 2009 to 2010 we are currently in the 2010 year of the series we are in february week one and that means that it's time to get some impact on but not before we do these incidents first daniels and Alyssa flash which means it's a protege mentor little incident let's see what happens tips on selling excellent 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 Alyssa flash is becoming quite the worker because of daniels so nonetheless Let's go ahead and get on into this booking. What's going to happen today? Let's go. All right, we All right, we are back. And before we go into the show, let me go ahead and get into something real quick. I said the Destination X is this month, and it is. However, I do know that, confusingly enough, in February, it usually was Against All Odds that was the pay-per-view. However, I switched it up where Against All Odds is in March, and in February is now Destination X. Just so if anyone was confused. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and run the show. We kick things... Alright, we kick things off with a 97A. Damn, I did not expect it to do that. Nonetheless, we kick off with the 97A. Desmond Wolf and Kurt Angle had the contract signing for the last encounter, the final encounter. Paul Heyman, of course, the mediator for this. And it's just a basic contract signing, but you, as you know in wrestling, a contract signing could not go just as a contract signing. So we have a little brawl between the two. Angle goes to uh, Angle slam Desmond. Desmond slips out, barely gets out of the ring in time, has his belt this time. And says, no, 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 this isn't happening here. Happening on my terms at Destination Ox. And Kurt Angle's like, whatever, as he's standing tall in the ring. And Heyman's just like, you guys cannot fight yet. You can't fight yet. This has to go down at the pay-per-view. But Angle's just ready and bound to get to Desmond. Nonetheless, 97A, Jesus Christ, didn't expect to do that well at all. I expected it maybe the 90s, like the low 90s, not the high 90s at all. Great start, great start. We then go on the next division champion facing Shark Boy, and obviously Daniels gets the win. <laughs> He's getting momentum going into what he has going on right now. And then AJ Styles comes out after Daniels has won his match, and Styles says, "Anything you can do, I can do better, and I still want a shot at that title because I am still trying to prove that I am the best there is today. Whether Paul Heyman wants to give me a world title shot that I truly deserve or not." So. We then have AJ Styles versus Sheik Abdul Bashir, and he got a 78B as well. And Styles defeats him, obviously. After the match, Daniel slides in the ring with the X Division title and cracks AJ Styles in the back of the head with it. Says, You'll never get a title shot as long as I can make that happen. And then Daniels kicks him in the head and says, I'm not facing you at Destination X. I will not do it. Unless the money is right. And it gets me a better pay. And then he kicks Styles in the head again before leaving with laughing. M maniacally, saniacally. However you want to do it. We then go on to a little backstage segment. It's a small one where Kevin Nash and Ty Dillinger are talking. More or less a comedy segment where Dillinger's like, Nashy, Nash, what, what, what am I, what, who am I facing, man? Who am I facing? And then Nash is like, brother, calm down. Whoa, take it easy there, Ten. Take it easy there. You got a little opponent, a little big opponent. It's going to be okay, though. You're the perfect 10. You're going to excel at this. I promise you. Come on, too sweet me. They too sweet. And then we go on to the match where Ty Dillinger defeats Matt Morgan, a 74 B minus. Did really good. So basically, Dillinger, don't mind this because this didn't actually happen. Basically, it comes down to Morgan about to hit the big boot on Dillinger, but Nash trips Morgan up. Morgan turns to face Nash. Dillinger rolls him up, puts his feet up on the ropes. One, two, three. Dillinger gets the win, and Morgan loses because of Nash. 
And that's pretty much it. Just Nash helps Dillinger win. Dillinger beats the Kevin Nash Invitational this week. Will it happen next week? Find out in the ne- next episode. We then go on to a promo. D'Angelo De Niro's somewhere in the streets. And he's basically... My brothers, my sisters, listen up, listen well. There's a man in TNA wrestling, there's a man that I've seen in the back that claims he has overcome the odds, that claims, my brothers, they claims he is saved. But really, is he saved? He's never spoken the words, the words of the Pope. So I don't really believe that he is saved. So without further ado, let me describe to you what this man is. It's a man that is afraid of what he really looks like. He puts on a little white, he puts on a little black, and he calls himself a little stinger. But fear not, fear not my people. I promise he can't hurt you. No, no, no. See, I, I am the man that he should be praising, but no, he doesn't give me the praise. But I'm going to show him the words of the Pope. I'm going to show him that when you trust the Pope, brothers and sisters, the Pope don't let you down. And then that's how we end the segment. Basically just the angel of Nero preaching on the streets to about uh, the stinger. Why is he talking about sting, though? Find out in the coming weeks. That is 76B minus. I'm proud. We then go on to Chris Hero versus Chris Sabin. The Battle of the Chrises. Chris Sabin defeats Chris Hero. I want to basically give the Motor City Machine Guns a bit of a momentum boost going into their match, uh, the tag match at Destination X. Nonetheless, Sabin gets the win over Hero clean, got an 80B, they both had in-ring performances of 80. I'm very curious if this was because of the cap that it does, where if you don't go 20 over 20 minutes, the most you can get is an 80B. Nonetheless, they got the best they could do with the cap. I'm excited for that. We then go on to a segment where Hero and Claudio are selling. Fun fact! They both requested to be upper mid-carder now, so we now have upper mid-carder tag champs. That's great. Anyways, basically, they're freaking out that Hero just lost. Claudio says, whoa, 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 I won't lose. Shelly, me and you right now. Shelly's like, whatever, I'm up for anything, let's go. They both get in the ring, and we now have another match, which is a 74B-, a little worse than the last. Nonetheless, they have pretty good chemistry. It lifted the match. Good to know, good to know. Shelly defeats Claudio as well, basically the same reasoning as last time, wanted to give Motor City Machine Guns a little momentum boost heading into their tag match, and yeah, so they outdid Kings of Wrestling in singles competition this week. We then go on without a segment in between, Booker T versus Rob Van Dam, Booker T getting a book in win on the Global Champion after interference from Samoa Joe as you can see. Continuing with what I said last week, I want to give Booker T some momentum, he had an 89 in-ring performance once again. Booker T basically just wanted to get that momentum, as I just said. RVD got costed by Samoa Joe, and then after... God damn it, Rob! Oh, are you fucking kidding me? The first time in the series it's happened. Son of a bitch. And it's with the global champion. I gotta take the strap off of him now. That's gonna be his repercussions. After the segment, or after the match, Samoa Joe attacks RVD and continues to attack him. Basically, now, the way I'm envisioning this is RVD's like, whoa, 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 get off me just because he's high. And then Joe fucking just kicks him in the skull. Says, fuck off, and just kicks him in the head. And basically turns it into a shoot, beats the fuck out of him, and yeah, got an 84B+. And then after that, to end the show, Paul Heyman comes down to the ring. Because everyone thinks it's that end of the show, but really, Paul Heyman's music hits. He walks down to the ring, all serious, grabs a microphone, and stands in the middle of the ring, looking at the hard camera. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Paul Heyman. I run TNA Wrestling, and last week, it kills me to inform that my television show was taken over. You see, I said a couple weeks ago at the pay-per-view, I said at Genesis, that they weren't a threat. But the watchers, whoever they may be, they are indeed a threat. They are a serious threat, and I will not stand here and let them take my show over. So they can sit behind any computer screens that they want. They can sit behind whatever they're using to do this. And they can act like they're tough. But I, Paul Heyman, and I, representing TNA Wrestling, will say that we will not stand for this. Whoever you may be, if you're more than one, whoever you all may be, TNA Wrestling 
challenges you to reveal yourselves. And I am a man of opportunity. You all have done wonders when it comes to making yourselves famous. So if you reveal yourselves, my offer to you is contract deals with TNA Wrestling. No, that might not be what you want. However, opportunity is upon us. I will give you all an opportunity, or just you, if it's one of you. But all I ask for is within the next couple of weeks, and your deadline is Destination X, to show yourselves. Be men about it. And it got a 91A. So basically, I just wanted to end the show making this watcher's angle very serious. Paul Heyman done with it. He doesn't want it to happen anymore. We end with a hot angle. Great, great, great. Got an 80B. I'm okay with that. Show increased our popularity in 24 regions. Obviously not the best. Obviously not the worst. I'm okay with it, though. Happy with this episode of Impact. Tune in tomorrow to find out what happens on the road to Destination X. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, as always, if you're new. Nonetheless, take it easy.